Hello, I'm EpiX, Click out and welcome back to another secret feature video. These are videos I like to make on my channel every single time an update comes out for Minecraft to let you know about secret features that are included in the update but aren't on the official changelog. The reason these are called secret features is because the only way you can find out about them is to either stumble across them in your game yourself by accident or to watch one of these videos. And today I wanted to talk about some secret features in this update because I briefly mentioned in the last video that there were in fact brand new, uh, you know, dye textures, but these aren't just brand new dye textures, they're brand new dye items altogether. That's right, Minecraft has officially changed the die system with four brand new items and three entirely, you know, like redone existing dies. And it's really weird, but it makes a lot of sense when we dive into it. So I figured we talk about that as well as the fact that there is a brand new Minecraft Bedrock server on top. That's right, there's a new number one and it's a big surprise, at least to me, and maybe it will be to you as well. So hopefully you do all enjoy this video. You can like it if you do, like the secret feature videos and like the deep dives into features, which like I said, this is not mentioned anywhere on the change log. And I'm not entirely sure why, because it is a pretty interesting change, a pretty positive one in my opinion too, because they have taken a lot of existing dye blocks. So take the lapis lazuli, for instance, take the coca beans, take the, uh, you know, the ink sacks or take the uh, bone mill and they've turned them into, you know, like exclusive dyes as well. And this seems kind of weird on the surface because they already function as dyes, right? And after this update, they still will function as dyes. If you want to, you can go, by the way, this is a really big inventory, right? But if you want to, you can just take, uh, you know, a single piece of white wool and you can take, say, a lapis lazuli and you can still dye it blue if you want to. However, what you can also do is use your blue dye and you can dye it blue that way as well. So basically there is now a second way of dyeing things blue, a second way of dyeing things brown, a second way of dyeing things black, and a second way of dyeing things white. I mean, this is white wool already, but you get the point. And that seems really like arbitrary on the surface. Why would you want to have, uh, you know, two ways to dye things? If we already have a bomb, you know, a, a, a coca bean item, why do we need to have like a white dye item to dye it back, for instance? It seems kind of arbitrary if we can just use, like I can, uh, like you can see right here, we can just use the bone mill anyway, except the real value in this is not just like, oh yeah, so it's going to be a whole new item that allows you to dye things in new ways. No, it's not really a brand new set of dyes and that it's a new set of colors or a new set of anything, but instead it's just a better organization of the dye system. So if you're curious as to what I mean by that, all of these other four items, so lapis has a secondary use. It's the enchanting thing and it's way better as enchanting than blue dye in my opinion. Coca beans are used to, you know, make cookies and obviously you can farm with them. Uh, you know, all these different items, ink sacks, obviously they exist as different things and kind of need to. Bone mill is used to grow plants and it's way more important in that role. However, if you want to get some exclusive white dye without just making it look like you have mostly dyes like you can see right here and then a weird mixture of like oh but then for some reason also we have like again if you look along the dyes it used to be you'd have a whole section of dyes and then oh lapis is in the same dye section for some reason coca beans aren't in the dye section at all instead they figured let's have exclusive dyes which is why you can take a stack of uh, coca beans if you want to and turn them into brown dye which means that they lose their you know their, they lose one of their functions but then they become dedicated to the second one basically if you really want you can take any of the dyes in minecraft which previously existed and you can turn them into less functional versions of themselves, which sounds stupid on the surface. This sounds like the most useless thing Minecraft's ever put in because it is a one-way transition. Uh, as far as I know, there's no way to get bone mill back. You just get white dye and now it's a less useful version of what you had before. But the real value in doing this is not like, oh yeah, it's so useful. It's mostly in just having a consistent dye system. Uh, when you have dye in Minecraft, it shouldn't matter what color it is. It shouldn't be like, okay, so let's get a red dye. Oh, it's not red dye, it's called rose red. No, uh, it's it's a white dye is just called a white dye. A black dye is a black dye. And like I just hinted at there, the red, uh, you know, the rose reds, the cactus greens, and the dandelion yellows have also been changed as well. Because again, having different names for the dye systems was really confusing. And given that dyes are used in so many ways now, there's, you know, dyed wool, there's dyed stained glass, there's dyed terracotta, there's dyed glazed terracotta, there's dyed, you know, there's dyed all the uh, concrete, concrete powder, all these different things. Uh, it was getting a bit confusing. So they've simplified the dye system. And in my opinion, it's a good change. It's not a very, uh, you know, like ext extensive change. It doesn't change a huge deal about how the game works. Like, it's not going to revolutionize your world or anything, uh, but it is an interesting change and maybe they'll turn it into something more interesting or maybe it's just a reorganization of the dice system. But like I said, uh, this is a change not only in the 1.8 update, which is kind of a secret feature, not mentioned anywhere for some reason, but it's also a change that will likely come to 1.8 if it's not changed sometime before that. And again, given the fact that it's purely, even though it's purely a useless change, it does make, a, you know, if you do a lot of dying, it does make your life a little bit easier and I expect it probably will stick because most people didn't even notice it. This is like, uh, we, I've seen a few people tweet me like, oh, there's new dye textures. I don't think anyone has spotted that these are brand new items as well as the old ones. There is now two types of blue dye. It's a weird, confusing system, but it's the system we have and it's the system we accept. And again, the big purpose in my opinion is because it makes creative mode a lot easier. Uh, for instance, if you want to scroll through the dyes, it's like, okay, so here are the dyes, all of the colors. Before, it was most of the colors, but then some are called different things. If you wanted to search for dye, for instance, you wouldn't find all the dyes. You'd find some weird uh, ones missing. This is a 
much easier system, in my opinion. Boom, all the different die colors now have a uniform name, a uniform system, and I kind of like that. So that is the secret feature found in this update. I think it's a cool thing, but let's talk about the other really big surprise. This isn't a secret, it's more of a surprise that I don't think anyone was anticipating uh, because uh, Lifeboat has long been the biggest Minecraft server, and although sometimes Mineplex server takes it, Lifeboat is always the biggest one. And interestingly enough, uh, you know, uh, the Hive is not even playable in the beta to like 5% of players, but despite that, uh, you know, in the five Minecraft servers which are featured, and in fact, all over all Minecraft Bedrock servers, as you can see, uh, based on what you're seeing on screen, the largest server right now in Minecraft is the Hive. And it's not only like, a, oh, the Hive just about overtook Lifeboat. No, the Hive is destroying Minecraft Bedrock servers. I don't know if something's going on weird there because they're destroying it in a way that almost looks suspicious, right? They've doubled, uh, you know, like, their, their, <laughs> they've almost doubled their nearest competition. Uh, you know, they've quadrupled uh, that for Cubecraft almost. They're almost seven or eight times above uh, MPVP, which again, I, I still think is a solid server, but it, the, the fact that they're doing so well, a part of you is like, wow, that's either really amazing or suspicious. And I can't tell you for sure if maybe they're doing something different that makes them have more reported players. But right now, the Hive is the most played server in Minecraft Bedrock. And um, again, I, I wasn't expecting it personally. I figured they would do well eventually. But in a matter of days, from 1.7 to 1.8, that is huge news. So yeah, with that said, that is your Minecraft uh, you know, update for today. A uh, secret feature in the form of die. I think it's an interesting feature because, you know, I like... Uh, you know, I, I like dying things in Minecraft, and I like being able to do it easily, and I think it's just a positive change on that. But, you know, maybe you think that uh, if you think it's a cool feature, then maybe I should die, or, you know, this is this is terrible. I I, I went too roundabout for that joke. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll end the video now. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed me having a super low hunger the whole video. I did that to see if I could, like, upset someone. We're like, no, it's like I can't eat. Uh, so, if it upset you, I'm very sorry. I'll eat some cake now. Look, it's all better. We're all good. Uh, if you did like the video, like it, let me know. Share if you really liked it. Subscribe if you're new around here. Make sure you turn on notifications if you want to see more of these videos because uh, Q&A Saturday is coming later and I let my editor pick all my questions and I, all I'm saying is I don't think it was a very good idea. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for watching and uh, me and the panda will see you all next time. Goodbye.